Hey guys, we've got an image sent in by Philip here, so his details will be down in the description if you want to give him a follow, head down there. So looking at some of his work, we're going to be trying to recreate this edit for this image right here. So there's nice fades and the whites and the shadows and yeah, that nice kind of moody, kind of warm, sometimes it's quite cool as well, but using the natural tones most of the time. So yeah, we're going to get into Lightroom, see what we can do. All right, so here's our raw file and the edited one from his Instagram. Just going to bring down the temperature. Just because the entire image is a bit cooler. Um, let's bump up some highlights. We're very, very flat back there. Um, let's bring down the shadows so we want we want more darkness down the bottom here especially so bringing down the shadows does that so whites we're gonna get that little that brightness back there in the brightest areas quite a bit of that and then it looks a little too bright but I'm planning on doing a fade to the highlights a little later so that's why it's a bit bright um, and blacks let's try dropping them a bit before we add in our fade need a bit of need a bit extra because the fade will make it look like there's less blacks All right uh, he has quite a soft look to his images so I'm going to drop the clarity a little and I'm going to take down the dehaze to add in a bit more haze as I think if you look out here I think he's, there's just a bit more to it I think. Okay so onto the tone curve just a fade in the blacks and a fade to those whites. Cool, so that's the curve, and as you can see, we're not quite bright enough in the middle here. So I'm going to grab a filter. Nice big one. Okay, so that looks pretty good, I think. Let's uh, we'll bring up the feathering. We want to bring... We've got to invert it, so it affects the middle. We'll just bring up the shadows so then we can bring out the focal point of the image so that looks good because if we brought up the exposure it would it would increase the it would increase the whites with it and stuff it just wouldn't look just looks a bit better if and more soft if you just bring up the shadows right uh, so I think I'll do split toning now so we really want to cool it off so we've got these nice blues up in the sky at the moment it just looks too warm And in the shadows, we just look kind of purple down there. Chuck in some greens. Um, might come back to that later. Let's just do some of this. HSL Let's drop the saturation of the yellows I 
oranges. And now we look to purple, sort of. So this is where I might add in the little bit of green to the shadows. Might look a little too green at the moment, but let's move some of these hues because we, we need to make this a little less green now. So these yellows, I'm going to shift all the way across. And now if I show you what I did with the greens. See how it just looks too purple down there? But greens fixes that. And then you get these nice warm tones to those yellows there. Uh, blues, maybe work with saturation first. Come down a tad. Greens, not a lot going on. Uh, aquas, so aquas is just affecting this area mainly keep it a nice teal or a bit more of a blue instead of a green yellows and bring up the luminance So I'm going to really bring up the luminance of aqua just to get that real shine to the water you can see there's a lot more in his one so let's bring that up and we'll just do the same with the blues here so luminance come up Right, uh, sharpening. So he has quite soft looking images, which I quite I quite like the soft creamy look. But I think there might be a little bit of sharpening. This is a screenshot off Instagram, so it does look quite a bit soft. But yeah, sometimes the photographer will send me the actual exported JPEG, but this time I had to screenshot off Instagram. So don't pay too much attention to sharpening, but I think, uh, so if you hold option, you can see the masking of where it's going to sharpen now, and we want to sharpen the large edges. So now it's going to keep most of the image nice and soft, but then these main edges are going to be nice and crisp. So, that's about it. I don't think there's any grain, and if there is, a very little amount. Vignetting doesn't look like any vignetting. But what I want to do now is just grab another filter. We'll just zoom in a bit. Put one over this guy. Up the contrast. Got to invert it so we affect inside the mask. And then drop the blacks. So it's going to really help him pop out of the image. Clarity. And maybe a bit of sharpening. And he should stand out pretty good. Zoom out. I 
I think we're looking pretty good. Got that nice fade going on down there. Brought out the main area of our shot, the focal point. Cooled it down with a bit of temperature. A uh, bit of extra dehaze in there. And yeah, nice fade. Fade to these whites. And yeah, I'm happy with that one, guys. I'll just leave it there. Let me know what you thought. Let me know who you guys want to see down in the comments. That way I can reach out to them on Instagram and do a collaboration with them. And yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Cheers.